Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. Today we're going to crochet this flamingo. Now I'll be using pink cotton, I use two ply cotton. Black and white I'll be using for the beak. You could use wool if you'd prefer. I use a crochet hook, scissors, I use a darning needle to finish my ends and I use sewing cotton and a needle to embroider in my eye but you could use embroidery cotton if you'd prefer. Now I'm starting with the head. I make a magic loop and work three chain. Into my circle I'm going to work 15 double crochet. I'll be using US terminology. Then I pull my circle tight and join with a slip stitch into the third chain. And that's the head finished. I'll fasten off. For the body, I also start with a magic loop and three chain and I work 14 double crochet into my circle. Pull the circle tight and slip stitch into the third chain. For row two you start with three chain and work one double crochet in the same place as the chain and then we work two double crochet into each stitch around. So I'll complete this row and I'll meet you at the end. At the end of the row we slip stitch into the third chain. For row 3 we begin with 3 chain and work a double crochet into the same place as the chain. Now we work 1 double crochet into each of the next 2 stitches. and then two double crochet into the following stitch. 
and we repeat that round. One double crochet into each of the next two stitches and then two double crochet into the following stitch all the way round. So I'll do this row and I'll be back. At the end of the row we join with a slip stitch into the third chain and that's the body done but we don't fasten off, we begin with the tail. So we start with three chain and we work one double crochet into each of the next four stitches. and then a decreased double crochet over the next two stitches. For row two of the tail we start with three chain and turn and we work two decreased double crochet over the next four stitches. So a decreased double crochet into the first two stitches a decreased double crochet into the next two and then we work one double crochet into the last stitch and then work three chain and turn. Now we're going to work a double crochet cluster over the three remaining stitches. And that's our tail finish, so I'll fasten off. Now I'll just weave in my ends and I'll be back and we'll do the neck. Now for the neck I join my cotton straight across from the middle of the tail, so in that stitch. And I work 20 chain. And then I join to my head just anywhere. Into the first stitch I work one single crochet. And then I work a decreased single crochet over the next two stitches so I pick up a loop from the next two stitches and yarn around and through two and then a single crochet into the next stitch another decreased single crochet over the following two stitches And now I work one single crochet into each of the next nine chain.
Now two single crochet into the next stitch one single crochet into the following stitch and then two single crochet into the next and now work a single crochet in the remaining chain now we work a single crochet in each stitch around the body. I'm going to crochet in my end. Now I'll stop one stitch before the end, the beginning of the neck. So I'll do that and I'll be back. We work a double crochet cluster into the last stitch of the body, the stitch between the body and the neck and then the first stitch of the neck. Now we work into the back of the chain along the neck. Into the first stitch we work a half double crochet. Into the next stitch we work a decrease half double crochet. and a single crochet into the next and a decreased single crochet into the following stitch. Now we work one single crochet into each of the next nine stitches. two single crochet into the following stitch then one single crochet two single crochet into the next stitch and then a single crochet into any remaining stitches and then a single crochet into each stitch around the head. And then we slip stitch into the beginning, just in the neck. And fasten off.
and that's the body, head and neck done. Now I'm going to start on the front leg now. I miss about six stitches and start join my yarn there. I start with 24 chain Now I miss the first chain and I slip stitch into the next two chain. And then I half double crochet into the following chain. And that's the first toe. Now I work four chain. I miss the first chain. I slip stitch into each of the next three chain and then just into the top of the half double crochet. For the third toe I work four chain, miss the first and slip stitch into the three chain and then into the top of the half double crochet again. Once our toes are complete we work three single crochet into the stitch just behind our foot. And then we work one single crochet into each chain until we have four left. And then we work one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And then one double crochet into each of the last two. And 
and then slip stitch into the body and that's the front leg done. Now slip stitch into the next stitch and we'll start the back leg. We start with 24 chain Now miss the first chain and slip stitch into each of the next three chain. Then work four chain. Miss the first chain and slip stitch into each of the next three chain. and then into the top of the other toe. Now we work three single crochet into the next stitch. And now one single crochet into each of the next eight chain. Now work five single crochet into the next chain and then one single crochet into each chain until the last four. and then work one half double crochet into each of the next two and one double crochet into each of the last two and then slip stitch into the body and fasten off. And that's the legs done. So just just go like that. I'll have to give them a bit of an iron. I'll start on the wing now. Now I attach my cotton at the end of the tail and work one chain and a single crochet. Now I work five chain
I miss the next two stitches and work a single crochet into the following stitch and then work five chain and work a single crochet into the third stitch and I repeat that across five chain miss two stitches and work a single crochet into the third I work do that right across to the neck And that's the, th the first row complete. And I work one chain and turn and work a single crochet in to the top of the loop. And then I work five chain and single crochet into the next loop. and just repeat across I work a single crochet into the top of the last loop and then work one chain and turn and work a single crochet into this loop. I get less loops each time. And I continue this way till I have six rows. So I'll continue on and I'll be back just towards the end of the sixth row. Now that's the end of the sixth row. I've only got three loops left then. So I'll fasten off. And our wing folds down over the body. I line it down when when I iron the feet flat. I'm going to start on the beak now. I start with white and I join my yarn five stitches up from the neck in there. and I work two chain a half double crochet in the same spot as the chain and 
and then two half double crochet into the next stitch. For row two, I work two chain, I work a decrease half double crochet into the same place as the chain and the next stitch. And then I work another decrease half double crochet in the same place as the last stitch from the last half double crochet and the next stitch. And then I fasten off my white and join my black in. and work two chain and I work a half double crochet cluster over the next two stitches and that's the beak done I'll fasten it off. Now I'll finish off my endings and give it an iron and then I'll just have to put on the eye. Now that's the flamingo ironed finished off and ironed. All I've got to do now is cover the centre circle with black. So I'll just stitch that on. I'll just stitch over, over the circle. Just like that. So I'll finish that one off and I'll be back to show you the finished flamingo. Now that's the flamingo finished. If you like my videos please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. The details are in the description below. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.